Hey, welcome back. So today we're off riding in an area that I haven't ridden in before, which is surprising because it's not that far from my house. And although I've ridden some of the areas on the front end, namely the pit that you're going to see in a little bit, a whole bunch of other stuff I've never seen. And that other stuff is dubbed Area 62. Our guide for today is going to be Chicken, aka Steve, and uh, part of the Gnarly Chicken YouTube channel in the Gnarly Chicken Garage. And he's going to show us a whole bunch of what's down here, and it is fantastic. So you're in for a treat, as are we. This is going to be a good day. <laughs> So the day starts off not quite into Area 62, but on Heart Attack Hill. And this hill, although of course the GoPro flattens it out, it just goes on and on. That isn't even a quarter of the way up the hill. It's loose, it's rooty, it's not beat in yet. Um, it's going to require some switchbacks, well, you have an idea how steep it as is. you can tell. Right now? Uh, and it remains undefeated. You want some help turning it? No, I'll get her. I'll get her. Yeah, that's... That's a hill. And you, you can't even, it's hard to side hill. Yeah. So that, my friends, is Steve, a.k.a. Chicken. And uh, he is a fantastic rider, and he's got the tool for climbing these hills, which is the 350, but more than that, he's got the skills. Now, Steve's coming off a bit of an injury, so uh, surprisingly he's nursing it, but it sure doesn't look that way from my perspective. Uh, he's, he's, riding, he's riding like he always rides. There's Colin. Colin gives it a go. Uh, he's running a worn out tire, but um, still makes it up a little ways. Almost gets to the switch back and hits it a few more times, as does Lance. Some valiant efforts. Almost. You guys are almost to the side hill. There you go, boys. There you go. Boys from Moncton who came up to try that hill and uh, got about as far as Lance or Colin did, will be happy to know that Heart Attack Hill remains undefeated. So to the sender crew, you gotta come up and we gotta spend some time sending her. After messing around in the pit for a little while, it's time to move on and get on into Area 62. Now like I said, I've not ridden in this area before and that is surprising to me because it is pretty close to home. But that's okay, I'm going to remedy that right now. And what I find is that in Area 62 there are some really tough technical rock climbs. And that is something that I like. It forces you to work on those fine skills with balance and clutch control and throttle control. And uh, yeah, there's a little consequence, but you're going really slow, so the consequence is usually quite low. Something else I didn't do, I didn't introduce the entire team because I left out Matt so far. Of course, you know Colin and Lance, and I've introduced you to Steve as the guide for this trip. And somewhere behind me, uh, back with Colin, is Matt. And Matt is someone that you've seen in some of my other videos. And this kind of riding is going to challenge Matt quite a bit, but Matt's a trooper and he rides through all of it, although he does suffer a fair amount. That little ledge that we dropped off and these big rocks that you're seeing is just foreshadowing for what we're about to get into. Bit fucked now. <laughs> You're 
right where I was. Nope, that's exactly ago. where I go. Nothing like the technical stuff to teach you some of the shortcomings or things you need to focus on. And I don't mean shortcomings in a bad way, just something I'm not good at yet, which is a short run up to load up that engine and roll the clutch out easy so I get traction and momentum all at the same time to get up those little tiny short climbs where there's low traction. Uh, my inner Graham Jarvis just wasn't coming through, so I ended up pushing the bike a bit. It's been a while since I've ridden stuff like this. And by a while, it's been over a year, because when I was in Israel, I rode a lot of rocks, and my friend Teddy worked really hard to try and make me a better rider, and I think he succeeded a bit, but that's to his credit and not mine. There was uh, definitely some challenging runs there for me. Done, Colin. Uh, I've been up it before. Well, with the gauntlet thrown down, Colin throws himself at the hill. And eventually I do as well. And I put in uh, quite a bit of work to get up this hill. It's just because I didn't really attack it that well and lost momentum early on. And thereafter, it just becomes a bit of a struggle <laughs> fest. <laughs> That said, I wasn't alone in the struggles, but uh, we all made it up all right. And Matt fortunately had a go around to my right, which I'm pointing to right now. So he gets lucky on that one. and He didn't have to fight his way up this particular hill. Now me, not being as smart as Matt, uh, decided that I would throw myself at this hill. And I guess throw is a bit of a strong word. Maybe I should say lob or toss or something like that. That could have been bad. kind of riding demands a lot more practice and that practice helps you see the lines that you need to get on so that you can get the bike moving and uh, keep a bit of momentum until you get to that natural next break point where you're going to pivot and go again. If you lose that momentum and you get stuck in between those pivot points or lines, it's really hard to get going again. And if you haven't put in that practice, you should probably get in the gym and work on your deadlifts and uh, get used to picking up the bike and dragging it around. Uh, there was a good little clip there of Lance just giving her to get over that last route. I'll eventually get up there, but it's going to take me a little while and I'm going to let you enjoy my struggle fest. Now I know I could get to the top of this hill really easily, um, but I just have to leave my bike behind, and that's not the name of the game. Didn't improve my position there at all. Lifted the bike for no particular reason as I dropped it back into that same hole. And I'm just gonna struggle for a little while longer, so I hope you're enjoying this. Yep, 
when in doubt, throttle out. <laughs> Lance takes pity on me and looks for the obvious thing that I should have looked for as well. Uh, but you know what? I'll take the help. Oh, right there I should have hit the throttle and popped up over that route. But uh, I got intimidated by the route, the rock, the tree. Out. And uh, well, now i got to figure it out from here. I wasn't improving my position a whole lot there, but Lance is going to help me out a little bit by moving that uh, old log out of the way, and uh, I'm going to get myself out of this hole. And up is up, so I make it to the top. Bulldog down on the right. Well, there's Matt there to my right. Finally gets a little bit of a camera time. Uh, this next obstacle is going to be a bit of a challenge. And uh, Steve just crushes it. He gets across this old stream bed here and just hits it and goes straight up the hill. See Lance off to the left there going up on a switchback, which is ultimately what we all end up doing. Steve being the only one that makes this hill, and he makes it look easy. Oh, yeah. Got all the torque in the world. Some cheers from the top of the hill. That was an awesome run. And Steve made it look pretty easy, and it really wasn't. There's a good lip at the top of that hill, and although there's lots of torque on that 350 to help out, there's you got to get it to the ground, and the only way you're going to do that was throttle and clutch control, and he has lots of it. I'm not sure why I didn't ride down this because it's infinitely doable. At the time though, it just made sense to walk it down because that's what everyone else had done. Well, except for Lance. Lance rode down. I don't even come close to making it up the hill, so it's the bypass for me, which is this switchback. I thought I'd try it in second, but I had, I just didn't run up on it hard enough. Oh, 
Colin gives her another go, but that's that lip right there. He's just at the bottom of the next little rise that yeah, if you don't have enough momentum, you're certainly not going to get traction to launch yourself yeah. up you over it. Had really good momentum getting in. Your tire was digging in. So we get past that hill, and now we're presented with this next obstacle, a bit of a boulder field here. It's not as bad as it looks because there's lines that you can kind of pick your way through, but you have to keep moving and get to the point just past where Lance is right now, and then you can get up that hill, and then it's not bad. Colin picks a different line, and I think it's a cleaner line off to the left, so that you can get up a little easier. Getting there requires a bit of a pivot turn. I follow here and get a bit stuck. Did you hear that? Sounded like that sneaky bastard of a rock shifted my bike into second gear. What the fuck am I on? Well, in fact, I'm on a KTM 300, but that's pretty irrelevant to the point. Um, there's a bit of mud there and a bit of rock that's creating a wheel chalk for my back tire, and lots of throttle's not going to get me past it, so I can work on my deadlifts by lifting the bike, or I could learn some better skills. Right now, I guess I'm just going to lift. I'm going to go up that one. You know what doesn't help is when you're in second gear and you don't know it and you're trying to force the bike to go up a hill and all you're thinking is, wow, something's not right about this bike. And really it's something about the operator. Well, I can't think of anything better but to abuse the clutch a little bit more, so here we go. We get through that rock garden and we're rewarded with another rock garden. Now, I'm not complaining because I like this stuff. It challenges you in so many ways. And this really kind of takes us to the top of what is a bit of a mountain. After this, we're going to jump onto some pretty fast dirt road and then some double track. And that all goes well, except I almost get kicked over the handlebars when I nail a pretty hard rock or pretty big rock in the middle of the trail and I hit it pretty hard. And then three of us go left when we should have went right and have to double back. But other than that, this pretty much takes us to the end of the video. And I know it's a bit longer than the videos I normally make, but this area just has so much to cover. What I really wanted to cover were these rocks, so And this was a good time, and I look forward to seeing some more of this in the future. Well, I was hoping he'd go for the big rock. I was eyeing it up, I'm like, oh, get these I took the, I took half of it. Yep, that's good, eh? Yeah.